<laughs> What's up, guys? How's it going? Hey! How's it hanging, Princess Fairy? Ugh, Callie, for the last time, I'm a gardener. I only repeated that like a thousand times now. Ah, yeah, whatever. You can be a gardener fairy. <sighs> Sup, my ghouls. Hey, Janice, how are you liking the party? Have I been a good host? Yes, Willow, it's been great. Don't worry about it. Yeah, seriously, it's like the most fun I've had in a long time. So, Janice, you're a skater girl, right? Yeah, uh, what are you two supposed to be again? <laughs> we texted you, remember? Right, sorry, uh, let's see. Uh, a queen and an angel? Aw, it's a costume party, you guys. Dress up as something you aren't every day. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Okay, see y'all. I'm gonna raid the refreshment stand. Okie doke. Is there enough food? Here, let me go check. I, I think we're running out of something. Willow, it's fine. If anything, there's too much food. Just look around. Ugh. Sorry. Janice, what did you do? Uh, I was trying to grab the pie, and I may have knocked over the whole table. I'll eat it anyway. <sighs> well, I guess as long as the guests are happy. Well, that's the last of the guests. That was a killer party, Willow. <sighs> you think so? Of course. Definitely. You're always so worried about pleasing others, Willow. Just chill out. Come on, join us. <laughs> okay. Well, what now? I think it's time for some spooky stories. Mm, I don't know. You know I get scared easily. Aw, come on, Nevea. You're at a Halloween party. What would Halloween be without a little scare? I agree. I vote spooky stories. Aw, oh, you guys. Willow, you got an opinion on this? Uh, I'm down if the rest of you are. Uh, fine. I don't want to spoil the fun. And besides, it is Halloween. <laughs> That's the spirit. <laughs> spirit. Nice one. And the thing just kept creeping closer and closer until it got her! <laughs> <laughs> Lame. You call that a scary story? I feel like I'm falling asleep. I don't think I'll be able to sleep for weeks after that. <laughs> At least I got some of you. Well, who should go next? Wait, guys, look how dark it's gone. You know what that means. Uh, we do? It's time for the legend. What legend? The legend of Glass Girl, you know? Uh, what? What's that? You guys have never heard of the legend Glass Girl? Uh, no, we haven't. You guys don't know? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Uh, Janice, I'm pretty sure you're the only one that knows. Okay, point taken. Is it like Bloody Mary or something? Kinda, but scarier. And I've heard that it's a true story. R really? Well, I don't know. It's just what people say. Alright, so how does it go? Well, legend has it. Nevea, is that a stuffed animal you just pulled out? What? It's scary. I made sure to pack my favorite stuffy. <laughs> You're such a baby sometimes, I swear. Whatever. Okay, I'll begin. Legend has it. Once there was a girl who lived out on the countryside. Her and her stepfather lived alone in a small prairie house. They were completely isolated, no neighbors for miles. They were each other's only source of company. And at night, it grew so quiet that you could hear for miles in the distance. Even the slightest sound, like the distant cry of an owl, sounded so close as if it were right outside the house. The girl, she was about 13 years of age, her stepfather was always very mean to her. She loved playing out on the vast acres of countryside stretched before her, but unfortunately, there was little freedom. This poor girl, she was worked night and day. Dusting, cleaning, house repairs, you name it. Any and all chores available were forced onto her by her stepfather. Most of the time, she would obey, get everything done that had to be done, but occasionally she was disobedient. But when she was, she was brutally beaten by her stepfather. Sometimes she just wanted to be alone in her room, play with her dolls, but this only enraged her stepfather further. He didn't give her a childhood. He wanted her to grow up fast, take care of everything that he wasn't willing to do. She would go days locked up in the basement with no food or water. She was desperate and hopeless and had many sleepless nights. No matter how loud she screamed, he wouldn't let her out. She yelled so loud, so frequently, that her throat grew sore with the effort and she eventually gave up trying. But she was a smart and resourceful girl nonetheless, and occasionally she would escape the basement. But 
this would make her stepfather livid, especially after he'd been drinking. He would angrily smash his bottle onto the ground, sometimes throwing them directly at her. She tried to dodge them, but nonetheless, the shower of shards would leap up and hit her skin anyway. The shards of glass would pierce her skin, creating deep, bloody gashes that always reminded her that there was no escape. His abuse was violent and brutal and quickly escalated, and eventually, he killed her. Legend has it that, lonely and vengeful, Glass Girl still roams around to this day, haunting other children, especially ones that have the childhood pleasures that she was deprived of all her life. They say that if you stand in front of the mirror and chant her real name, that you'll summon her, especially on Halloween night. Boo! <laughs> <laughs> Got you guys. Where did you hear that story? That was pretty creepy. <laughs> I just got it off the internet. That was pretty scary for just a stupid internet story. Who's to say it's just a story? Uh, Janice. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm done. <sighs> well, I'm getting sort of tired. I think it's time to hit the hay. Not so fast. Huh? You know very well what happens. One of us has to say her name in front of the mirror. What? No. Oh, come on. Don't tell me you actually believe that junk. Come on. It's Halloween night. Let's have some scary fun. Who wants to just go to bed? Come on. Oh, come on, Janice. Don't be silly. We just want to go to bed. <sighs> really? Hmm. Well, it is Halloween night. See? That's it, Kelly. You know what I'm talking about. <sighs> You know what? Fine. Yeah! If it'll get us to go to bed quicker, then I'll do it. So you'll do it? Sure. What do I have to say? Alright, sweet. I'll whisper what to chant to you. And make sure you say her real name when you do this. <laughs> okay, whatever. Like it matters. Uh... Come on, you can do it! Yeah! Woohoo! Willow for the win! Guys, I have a bad feeling about this. Oh, come on, Nevea. It's just a joke. <sighs> All right, I'm gonna do it, guys. Whoa, 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 we're coming, we're coming. <sighs> Lucy, Lucy, looking through. Lucy, Lucy, I see you. Lucy, Lucy, behind me you'll be. Lucy, Lucy, you've got me. All right, I'm done. Have you had your fun now? Can we go to bed? Guys? Hello? Oh, Shouldn't have you ditch me. Guys, hello? This so isn't funny. Come out. Boo! Oh, there you are. I knew you are just pranking me. <laughs> it's not even funny, Janice. Look what you did to my nightstand. Yeah, yeah, your nightstand. I'm putting it back. Don't worry. I'm sorry. They put me up to it. Would you believe me if I told you that? Yeah, don't worry. It was my idea. Of course it was. All right, now let's just finally change and get some shut-eye. What's going on? You okay? I saw something okay, in the bathroom okay, when I was coming back. Okay. I, I got up to go to the bathroom and when I when I washed my paws I saw something in the mirror. Alright, what did you see? I saw her. Nevea, you're freaking me out. Okay, what did you see? Glass girl. I saw her. Nevea, it, it doesn't exist. You're fine. Yeah, it was just a stupid story. Don't worry about it. But I... Look, whatever you saw, it must have just been a nightmare, alright? I swear, she was, she was there. Look, you're gonna be fine, alright? I think you just need some sleep. No, she was right there! Nevea, I promise you, it was just a nightmare. 
Hey, Nevea, wanna come sleep up here on the top bunk with me? <sighs> Is there even enough room up there? Yeah, it's fine. I can make room. Okay. <sighs> that was kind of crazy. It's alright. We all know she just gets scared sometimes. Come on. Back to bed. <sighs> What's that noise? What the... What in the world? Her. Willow, are you okay? Get up. Turn her over, turn her over. Willow. Willow, get up. Okay. Willow, Willow, calm down. Willow. What just happened to me? Willow, Willow? Okay, Willow, you're fine. You're fine. Can you tell us what happened? It, it came... It came running at me. What? There's nothing in here. Glass girl. You too? Oh, come on. If this is some kind of joke... I know I told the story, but seriously, Candace, guys... I don't think this is a joke. Maybe there really is a spirit or something in here. A spirit? Rad! Come on! Come out! Wherever you are! Janice, stop. This Hello? is serious. <laughs> alright, alright. I'm just kidding. Have a little fun, won't you? This is no laughing matter. I think... I think something might be in here with us some presents. Alright, I'm sorry. Look, if all you guys are actually convinced that there's something in here, then why don't we say anything now? Janice? J Janice? What? Janice? I'm just saying. I'm behind you. Turn around! What? Ah! Ah! <laughs> it's gone. She's, she's gone. <laughs> It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I know. <laughs> what are we gonna do? She's real, and she's gonna hurt us. There has to be a way to get rid of her. There's always a way to get rid of spirits. Janice, how does the rest go? How do you get rid of the spirit in your story? I don't know. I, I just found it off the internet. I'd... Okay, okay. Think. I said her name. I said her name in the mirror. Do I say it backwards? Do I need to write it backwards in the mirror? What do we do? <gasps> Nevaeh! Oh my gosh, are you okay? I think so. I think I know something we can try to get rid of the spirit. Okay. I've seen them do this in movies, in the traditional books. We just, we gather around some candles and ask the spirit to go away, to return to wherever it came from, or wherever it's supposed to be. All right, let's hope this works. All right, follow my lead. Lucy be gone. Lucy be gone. Lucy be gone. Lucy be gone. Did it work? <laughs> She's not She's done still yet. Here. If that didn't work, then what will? <laughs> Kelly! You thought it would be that easy. <sighs> Did she just say that? She just spoke to us. She just spoke. Guys, don't you get it? She wants a sacrifice. Spirits always want a sacrifice. This is my fault. I got us into this mess in the first place. And I'm willing to be the sacrifice. What, what Janice? Janice? Are you crazy? <sighs> no. We're not letting you do that. Come on, you guys. Just let me do this. Think of all the pranks I've played on you. All the times I've scared you guys. You won't miss me that much. Janice. Okay, hey, I'm sorry. It's just, it's only right that I do this. We just have to give her what she wants, assuming it's one of us, and she'll go away. No, we're not letting you do that. <sighs> Lucy, take me. No! no! <sighs> Wait. Take this! 
a sacrifice. Take that and let that be a symbol of childhood to you. I'm sorry you never got one. Everyone okay? Yeah. Yeah. I... She's gone. I can't believe it. We got rid of her. Nevea, you did it. You saved us. I... I did? Yes. I can't believe... The rabbit stuffed animal. It worked as a sacrifice. That's it. She just longed for the childhood she never got. She was probably so envious of what we all had. Nevea, you saved us. Thank you, I thought I was gonna have to die. Oh. I'm sure glad that's all over with now. Me too. Now let's go back to bed. Uh, just kidding. I'm pretty sure none of us will be able to sleep for weeks after this. Who wants some sodas? Me. I could go for one. All right, come on. Hmm. Let this love, which I never had, come inside. For these small, happy moments are truly one of a kind.